Okay, I forgot one last piece. So there's these white brackets and we need to put those on each corner. It just gives it a little bit more um, support. So it has a little like ledge and it just goes in the corner. And then you screw them in. Two screws for each one. Okay, now we're going to show you how to do um, build a wall cabinet. So this one is a W15, so 15 inches wide by 42 tall. So I've already laid out everything. I've got my um, door here. So I'm going to put in the, the hardware, line the holes up. I have the face frame. I have the sides, and then I have the back here, as well the um, top and the bottom. And three um, shelves. Okay, so now I grabbed the hardware for the, the shelves, put it to the side, and I grabbed out the bumpers. We're gonna put the bumpers on real quick. One at the top, one at the bottom, and then the three long screws that connect the door to the face frame. Grab those out. And now the flat, um, head screws we're gonna just connect the hardware to the door real quickly okay so next thing is I grabbed out these um, cleats we're gonna line them with the holes on the face frame there's on this one there's three most wall cabinets there's only two so there's three on each side and then we're going to use two of the cleats to connect from the um, side panel to the back panel. Okay, so again, I grabbed the round tipped screws and we're just gonna put these in real quick. And again, the, the part that comes up for the next screw needs to be towards the, the rail where the side panel goes. So I'm gonna do, be doing all of those, and then I'm going to come to the side panels, and I'm gonna put two cleats along the back, one at the top, one at the bottom, kind of line it up with the, the rail, and screw them in. Okay, so I put all the cleats on. Now I'm gonna slide them in, into the channel. So this one is gonna go on this side. Slide it in, make sure it's again nice and flush, push down all the way, and then we're gonna put a screw on this side to connect them. Gonna grab the other side panel, go on to this side, Again, make sure it goes all the way down, nice and flush, and then grab another screw and put a screw in there. Next, we're going to put the two bottoms in. So there's two different sides, so we're going to keep the same color as the inside, so it's going to go this way. We just slide it in. Again, you might have to pull it out, push it to, and use your fingers on the inside to push, push it to make sure it's all the way down. And then making sure no screws are on the table, spin it around, make sure that these are down, and we're gonna grab the other, the bottom, and slide it in. Okay, now we're gonna grab the back piece. So the back piece has two slots there. We're gonna stick them on the, the, um, the top and bottom, put them in. 
get it to fall down in there and then again grab our clamps. Clamp it together. It doesn't have to be super tight, but keep it kind of close to the bottom um, screws where we're going to put the, these black screws here in just a minute. Okay. Okay, next we're going to put in um, the screws in the back. They are the big black screws, and there's holes at each spot where they go. Now again, make sure the screws go up and down. If they're angled in, they're gonna go inside the cabinet. Angled out, they're gonna pop out the back. So keep them straight up and down. And it just goes down a little bit past flush. And do that on both spots. Okay, pause. Yep. Okay, we put the black screws, two on each side. Now with the clamps on, we're gonna pull the, pull the face frame towards the edge. We're gonna tip this up and that's just to get it, keep it close to us so we can work and screw the screws on the inside. Okay, so I have it flipped up. Now we're gonna put screws in the rest of um, all the screws on the inside. Okay, so we put all the screws in. I've already put in the shell, the um, hardware for the shells. We can take off the clamps, put them to the side, and we're going to put the um, shells in. So it has a finished front, an unfinished back. Put the finished front towards the front. Sure they sit all the way down. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is put on the door. So again, the door can go on either side, but since this this can actually be flipped. So we can just put it on regardless of whether or knowing which side it goes on. We can always just, they can change those out if they need to. So we've, we're using the big long screws. These screws can strip out pretty easy. So when you're putting it on, if it starts to strip, don't force it, pull it out. Otherwise they can break off. So we're gonna start with this side. I always start with the, the top. Put it through, put it, get it just started, and then the bottom one. Okay, pause it. Okay, so we ran into something as we were putting the door on. The manufacturer has one of the cleats, one of these already pre-drilled into the face frame and it goes right here. And this um, hinge could not fit on it. So we have, we removed it. Um, there's enough support that it doesn't need to be done, but now we have it, um, the, the door on and there we go.